In these problems, we're working on finding the circumference of circles. And circumference is the distance around the outside. So if you started right here and walked all the way around the circle, how far would you have walked? That's the circumference. And there's a formula for circumference. And if you use it enough, you'll probably memorize it. Circumference is 2 times pi times the radius, 2 pi r. And the radius, remember, is the distance from the center of the circle to the edge of the circle. And it's half of the diameter, which would be all the way across the circle through the middle. So let's find this one. They're telling us to use 3.14 for pi, and the dimensions are in inches. So let's go ahead and plug in what we know into our formula. Circumference equals 2 times pi, and they want us to use 3.14. So times 3.14, and times the radius, which is 20. And you can plug that into your calculator, 2 times 20 times 3.14. And what you should get out is 125.6, and this was in inches. And this is just plain old inches. This isn't area we're figuring. It's a distance around the outside of a circle. So it's not inches squared or anything, just plain old inches. All right, let's look at this next one. This says, find the circumference of each circle. Use 3.14 for pi. Dimensions are in inches. And we've got a diameter here and not the radius. They're telling us the diameter all the way across is 19. And remember, our formula says circumference equals 2 pi r. So one thing you could do is just divide this in 2. So the radius would be 19 divided by 2. And if you plug that in your calculator, you'll get 9.5. Now you could take that and go ahead and plug it in here. So let's do that. Circumference equals 2 times, well, 3.14 they want us to use for pi and 9.5. And when you crunch the numbers on that, I think you're going to get 55.66. And this was in inches. You actually could have saved yourself a step if you wanted to, because 2 times r times pi, it doesn't matter what order you do these in, 2 times pi, uh, 2 times r is the diameter. So this is the same as 19 times pi. That should have been 9.5. Okay, let's do one more. And this you'll probably see quite a bit as you go on in math. It says leave pi as pi. So what do they mean by that? Well. Let's do this. Our formula is circumference is 2 times pi times r. And instead of plugging in some number, 3.14 or whatever, we're just going to leave that alone. So we've got 2 times pi times our radius is 55. And now since I'm leaving pi alone, I'm going to do the multiplication that I can. I can multiply 2 times 55. That's 110. So this circumference is 110 pi. And sometimes people prefer that you actually figure out the, um, the number this way, 110 pi, because this is exactly the right number. The funny thing about pi is that, you know, it starts 3.14, but it goes on, and it never ends. It's what they call an irrational number. So if you want to be absolutely exact, you can't really substitute in a decimal. Most of the times, 3.14 is close enough. But if you wanted to be perfectly exact, you really have to write it as 110 times pi. So that's a little bit about finding the circumference of circles. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org.